What's up everyone, Arctic here, and today I am talking about Titanfall. Yes, Titanfall. We have been talking about this game quite a bit for the last ooh, five months, I think, since pretty much uh, Skyless and I find out uh, about the game on Frag Logic when we first um, got some tidbits. I believe it was a Game Informer magazine that leaked with a screenshot of what Titanfall looked like well before the magazine was out. And so uh, we got some speculation on what they were doing. I think even before that, we got the code name for the, it was like Project Titan or something like that. Uh, and then was, there was speculation and talk on what the game was going to be about. But I've been eyeballing this game uh, because I know Respawn Entertainment. I fell in love with, with Modern Warfare. And before that, I played Call of Duty 2. Um, and I played Modern Warfare 2 a little bit. But, you know, that is the OG infinity ward so for me i feel like they know what they're doing when it comes to how a game control wise should feel pacing fluid i mean they're just the tightness and fluidness of the controls uh but i, th I think what some people are kind of apprehensive about at least from what i've seen in the comments and some people that have um, talked to us on twitch and just competitive guys are worried that because they did modern warfare and because they did just those games call of duty they feel like the game is going to be easy and one of the things that i've kind of noticed in games uh that are portrayed as easy call of duty is a good one um you know there's always a lot of backlash always a lot of heated discussion about the nature uh the gunplay in the game um, and how easy it is to pick up. You know, a lot of other games that aren't as successful as those and those communities always hate on Call of Duty. So uh, that aside, I mean, what kind of makes those easy is the player package, right? The speed is at a pace where it's not difficult to track people. The movement is at a pace. And what you can do is at a, at a pace where you kind of know what actions a player can take. They're going to sit behind this cover. They're going to dolphin dive. They're going to uh, sprint. I mean, there's not too much they can do that's going to fake you out. And so tracking in those games uh, is significantly easier. Battlefield is another good example uh, where the player that you're facing can only do so much. And within that small window, it's mostly who sees who first. And I don't necessarily know if that's going to be the case for Titanfall. But one thing I do know is that when you introduce a movement system and package that is... It has elements of an arena shooter like uh, Titanfall has. Regardless of how easy the gun gameplay is, there's usually a significant, and I mean significant, separation in the skill gap that you have between players that can actually manage to track people in the air that are moving around, ping-ponging off of walls, and doing all types of crazy stuff in the air because they change the vertical plane. Once you start changing the vertical plane on people, you'll see this, like, people that would normally be able to fire at a horizontal, everyone's on the same plane, so all of a sudden those guys are hitting significantly less shots. Uh, and I'm just throwing this out there, but, I mean, there's a significant drop-off. And so regardless of if you are concerned about the fluidness of the, the gun gameplay, because I feel like that's always kind of misinterpreted, like good controls are oftentimes confused with easy because they don't make it so that you have to aim like it's 1999. <laughs> and, uh, you know, maybe there'll be auto aim, but I don't plan on getting it on console. I plan on getting it on PC. So um, I, I really am interested to see what type of players this is going to attract now um respawn has, has said that they have things like popcorn ai uh in the game so that people that aren't very good have a chance to get some kills and so what this made me think was in a pvp environment those guys that would normally get their socks blown off and rocked um and i'm gonna go ahead and say i'm gonna call out the casual players um, that don't really want to spend too much time learning the depths of the game and trying to get better, they're going to have a way to continue playing. So even if you on the same map with uh, some unreal godly dude that uh, is just blowing everyone's socks off, you're going to be able to get some kills. So I think they're concerned with, and they know that because of the movement package that they have, this is going to be a game that's going to be difficult for your average Joe to play against that high level player without feeling overwhelmed and that's where i am so interested in this game because 
again, I feel like the movement package is going to create this system of, of you have to play in order to get better. Map awareness is going to be huge. Knowing your engagements, knowing when to call a Titan. I mean, and the fact that they have Titans is going to completely change how you kind of interact with maps. I mean, you see a group of players and then there's a Titan. Well, how do those group of players have to react to that Titan? You know, if you're all on the same team, if, if you're on the team that has the Titan called, how are you reacting around your Titan? It's just going to change the dynamic of, of how you're going to play. So, uh, for me, I am very, very excited. And if you're one of those guys that has played an arena shooter that just has a very good movement package, you know what that means. I mean, you know how difficult it is for your average player to track you if you have very good movement. And so this is one of those things where I am excited, very excited to see a game that is getting this type of recognition that could have a mass appeal to your average player. Uh, out there but could have this huge skill gap and the opportunities there for at least competitive play are uh, very intriguing to me so i hope you guys got a little bit of insight about this game i don't know what gameplay i'm going to throw up on this commentary but uh, uh until the next time guys i will catch you later peace Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and subscribe for future vids on my channel.